Hi, I'm Mel. My full name is Melania Edison, but most people just call me Mel. You probably won't see much of me. Um, to be honest, it's just how I like it to be. But this girl in the picture, that's me. Growing up, I was kind of like the odd kid. Kids often told me I was weird. I guess I was the weird one. You know, the one that no one truly understands. But it's okay because at the same time, I didn't quite understand everybody else either. One of the most important lessons my father taught me was to try and be different and not to follow the crowd. Never to let anyone try to make me think that I couldn't be different. And when he told me that, he meant not even him. He even specified, not even me. And, and that lesson is, is such a lesson that I love and I value. Um, that lesson was one of the most valuable lessons I have learned in my entire lifetime. Long story short, I uh, did a lot of art as a child and I, I was very artistic and people told me I was talented. I loved doing art and creating things. And it's weird because at some point I feel like I just blocked somewhere along maybe high school or later adolescence. Um, I just couldn't do art anymore. I lost the talent somehow. 15 to 20 years went by with no art or barely any. And I know, I know it's sad to hear, but it's not sad because those are the moments that led me to eventually create this course. So I'm a wife and a mom of three. And it, it's different than what it was growing up because I was raised by a single mother as an only child. So having so many people in one house is definitely a challenge for me um, as a very introverted person to begin with. Um, it can be slightly chaotic um, for my introverted mind sometimes and I need to find some way to escape. And then the pandemic started and I had to suddenly adapt to a whole new way of life. One that involved having three children around me, making noise, asking for things, constantly bombarding my, my inner space that was so sacred to me. To alone time, if anybody knows me well, I alone time is crucial. So I took it upon myself to do some inner healing and I knew that one of the issues I was confronted with was the need for perfection and wanting everything to be perfect all the time. And I knew that if I wanted to heal, I had to somehow remove that need for perfection. The venue I chose was to start doing art again. And when I did, I realized something. It doesn't need to be perfect. It's just perfect the way it is as it comes out. When you can let go and let your subconscious mind paint or draw, or in other words, create, instead of trying to control it, mistakes can't happen. You just flow. It doesn't need to be perfect. Imperfect, to me, is perfect. From my point of view, perfect is, is imperfect. There is no perfect. It's, it's the imperfections that make things perfect. That being said, I'm still a perfectionist, but I'm a perfectionist thriving to be imperfect. And another thing is, I know I can do anything I put my mind to. So I've tried to adapt this course for everyone and every method. Everything you encounter during this course, whether it be my website or content, editing, graphics, you name it, the videos, the artwork, it's all built and learned by me. Like I 
everything is from the core for myself. I don't pay somebody to do my editing or my logos or anything like that. I do everything myself, but I have learned to do it myself. And that's why I say, I know I can do anything I put my mind to. When I say that, I am like dead serious. Another good thing to know about me is that I worked in the field of psychology for some years and even became Myers-Briggs certified. Um, during those years, I gained a tremendous amount of insight into how we think and the inner depths of the mind. And it was a fascinating place to work to say the least. But I'm only saying this to explain that um, when I was creating and outlining this course, I really tried to accommodate all the various thinking types so that everyone can benefit from this course in a good way. I really hope you enjoy. I made this course for you. Hoping you benefit as much as I did from this approach to inner healing by using art as your venue. I'm so excited to share this with you.